G'day there, Pete Moriarty here. In this video, I wanna cover the danger of using Slack for business, and in particular, Slack's free plan. Now, we've worked with thousands of small businesses over many years, and uh, it's true that small business owners wanna be productive, and the most savvy small business owners look for new technology to actually improve the way they're doing things, improve the communication, and Slack has been one of those tools that has been absolutely brilliant for that. Uh, not only does it let you connect your team with instant messaging, it's easy to use and it's got tons of great integrations. And what I love about Slack is that it's actually brought many businesses into the realm of instant messaging where for years we were using Hangouts or we were using Facebook Messenger or we were even using Skype in the old days for that kind of stuff. Uh, Slack's made it really easy and accessible for everyone. But Slack has a dark side, and that is that businesses are putting business data into Slack, and sometimes that data can be held hostage. Let me tell you about how that works. Typically, a business owner will sign up to Slack because they've been referred by a friend or a business colleague, or someone says, hey, Slack is great. And you set it up and you roll it out to your team, everyone starts using it. Now it's fun, you get you know, involved in the Giphy Wars and you, know, you set up your different channels for your team and everything's going swimmingly. And while you're on a Slack free account, you're thinking, hey, this is awesome, Slack is great and it is an excellent tool. Now the challenge comes when you put more and more business data in Slack, there is a limit to the free plan. And that limit is currently 10,000 messages. So what that means is after you hit more than 10,000 messages in your Slack account, the old ones aren't deleted, but you just lose access to them. And so think of like a kind of rolling limit on how far back you can go in your search. And let me tell you with 100% certainty, every single customer that uses Slack will at some point find themselves needing to go back into their history. You need to run a search, find a bit of information. Oh, you know what? I sent that to someone in Slack, but it was more than six months ago and it's past the 10,000 message limit. And what happens then is you're stuck. You can't go back and search that far because you've lost the 10,000 messages. And I know that for a fact, because this happened to me when we were running Slack as well. Now what happens at that point is you have to pay for Slack, not just for one user, but for all of the users, and not just for a month, but for the whole year. Effectively, you're held hostage in that you have a gun to your head and you've got to pay for this whole Slack account just to get access to that little bit of data. Now what some business owners say is, okay, well, I'll just kind of forego that and uh, you know, we'll just soldier on and we won't worry about it. But personally, I think that's a pretty big risk to the business. Now, if you're in financial services, if you're in a healthcare business, or if you're in a business in Australia, more than $3 million of revenue, you need to comply with Australian privacy principles. And what that means is that you need to have access to all of your business data. It's not good enough to say that if you're using Slack and it's hidden away, <laughs> you know, I can just always pay for it to, you know, to go back to it later date. No, you need to have access to all of your business information and not only that, you don't want to have to potentially lose information and be slogged with a cost later on down the line to switch on your account. Now, what's the solution? Well, if you're already a G Suite user and most of our audience are, then you have access to Hangouts Chat. And Hangouts Chat is the new rewrite of Google Hangouts and effectively it's a bit of a copy of Slack. Now, Hangouts Chat came out a couple of years after Slack. Google were a little bit slow to the party. Slack had a good five year lead in building out a great application, but then Hangouts Chat effectively went and copied all the features. So you've got all the features that you would be used to inside of Google Hangouts. You've got things like um, threaded conversations, you've got channels for different members, you've got instant messaging between each other, you've got Giphy integrations, you've even got integration with some of your favorite apps like Asana, but also the AI elements of Google, like their automatic scheduling tool. Um, you even have integrations with Google Drive and Hangouts Meet, Google's uh, Hangout video chat program. And what that means is that if you're already using G Suite, you don't need to bother with Slack. And so my opinion is, is that if you're on G Suite right now, there's absolutely no reason for you to be using Slack. Google does everything that Slack does. And of course you get access to all of your history without getting held hostage and having to pay for yet another app. So if you're on Slack right now and you wanna make the switch over to Hangouts, and you'd like some help making that happen, uh, then you can get in touch with our team, head along to itgenius.com, or if you're worried about your particular integrations working or you need some help with some custom integrations, um, then uh, be sure to let us know and we can investigate what's happening with your current account right now. If you wanna learn more about Google Hangouts Chat, we've got a great video on that and I'll drop a link to that right below this video. Until next time, cheers.